Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is TTK here I'm gonna show you how to install Lineage OS on your Poco M4 Pro device and Redmi Note 11 S so the steps are so you need a fast boot ROM and you need TWRP and you need uh, the ROM switch is gonna boot on this so to make life easier for y'all links will be down below just follow the steps and everything will be fine so what you have to do is first download the fastboot ROM links down below and then flash it using fastboot tool so First, put your phone into fast boot mode, which is volume down and power button. Connect your phone to the PC and then extract the MIUI ROM and put it in the location where it is in. So, extract it entirely outside. Do not put it files, file inside file because it doesn't flash like that. And then refresh. Once you refresh, you're gonna show the MI. UI phone which is connected your Poco M4 Pro refresh it so that you can see it again then what you have to do don't forget this step just clean clean all clean all no clean and lock yeah and what you do is flash and wait for it once it's done if it's red also don't worry about it let it boot into MIUI Once it's done, it might look like this, so no worry, as long as it boots up to MIUI 13, it's fine. So next step, what you have to do is volume down, power button, or what you do is reboot. Reboot. And press volume down again I did go to fast boot mode waiting yeah once it's in fast boot mode you have to install TWRP links down below for TWRP as well so the commands are So, commands are fastboot devices, fastboot devices, okay, if you see this, that means your phone is on fastboot, then fastboot flash TWRP, so fastboot flash boot, then copy paste the link to here just drag and drop it over here and then press enter once it's enter it's done it flash TWRP to your phone now what you do is fast boot reboot and once you press fast boot reboot press volume up with it quickly press the volume up once you say fast boot reboot and it should take you to TWRP once it takes to TWRP once it takes you to TWRP this is what you need to do so if you have an micro SD card copy the ROM copy the ROM and the firmware and copy copy the ROM the firmware and the boot dot image so you have to do that so first what you have to do is go into install then find your SD card where the 
where you put the boot dot image of lineage os do not do any other one so mine is in this folder click on install image then click on image boot dot image both both sides click on this as well here yeah? and boot and both sides and click flash don't worry if it doesn't so mount don't worry anything about this now what you do is go back reboot reboot to recovery and wait for it once it goes to reboot to recovery what you have to do is factory reset okay factory reset data partition format data okay then go back and apply update and choose from you need to flash now firmware so choose from your SD card where your firmware is so my firmware is in the same folder which I play AAA so it's simple for me and then firmware for 13.0 is the same firmware just click on it verify will do you want to install just press yes I did install and what you do to go to advance and give it a reboot to recovery again because if you don't do that you flash the ROM it doesn't flash it reboot to recovery after firmware let the partitions come back and then apply updates and then choose the your folder and oh sorry go back and choose the rom which is lineage os 20 which you downloaded put it in the same folder i just left it outside it's fine so it should say it's verifying so it should say slot 1 and slot 2 if it's not doing that reboot it again and then flash again because if you try installing firmware and don't reboot it won't flash the ROM so it says step 1 so it needs to say step 1 which is it's gonna flash in slot 1 and slot 2 so wait for it to complete it take about 3-4 minutes so once it says this so it's gonna show step one step two installation complete so don't worry what to do is go to reboot now and let the phone reboot so that's all the steps you need to do to install lineage OS on your phone hope you like this please like and subscribe for me and help me grow and hit likes and comment comment i will come i will reply to the comments which i can and which i don't know i will say i don't know about it so please don't be sad if i don't know some i'm like you are human so here's your lineage OS booting right now so this is a custom rom not a gsi rom yeah so this is how you install normally and this is how you install your lineage OS. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Have a good day.